Hey guys, it's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornment Decor. I'm here with my assistant, Shan, and we have been working in the craft room today, and she actually painted a door hanger when we were at our team retreat this weekend, and she was showing it to me, and she's like, you know what, I feel like it needs something else. So we've been sitting here brainstorming ideas, trying to figure out what else we could do to this door hanger to make it feel complete. And I know that's a problem for a lot of you guys. So I thought I would bring you along with us as we solve this problem for her and help you guys get some ideas on how you can do that for your own door hanger. So I'm gonna flip the camera and uh, show you Shan's door hanger. Um, you saw a little sneak peek of it, but it was backwards. So let me flip the camera and show you. And we're gonna talk through like the ideas that we had. And so whether you use our exact idea that we're gonna do or whether you use another idea, it, maybe it'll at least get your wheels turning when you have a problem like this. Hey, Danita. Hi, Marie. How are you guys? Welcome. Hey, Sarah Cummings. Okay, so I'm flipping the camera. Here is Shan's door hanger. She did this 100% herself, even the lettering, which I was super impressed by. And I love this retro color scheme she's got going on. So she already went ahead and used a wide tip Posca pen to do an outline on it. And then she felt like it needed a little something else. So then she took the five millimeter Posca pen and added these little dashed lines. I feel like that helped a lot. Now, Shan, are you a bow kind of gal? She's not really a bow kind of gal. She didn't really want to add flowers or anything like that. So my first suggestion, if you feel like it's missing something, no matter what shape it is, a bow can usually help. So a bow would help up here a little bit if you're a bow kind of person. If you're not, that's totally fine. Um, if you're a flower kind of person, you could also add some kind of like greenery sprigs or something attached up here. Now, she wants to add something down here. So, the idea that she came up with, because she loves like the retro theme, was to um, take our glow forge over here and we're going to cut out a circle that's about four inches and it's going to have a smiley face on it. That way it kind of goes with the retro theme. And then I was like, ooh, you know what else we could do? We could put... Uh, Velcro on the back of it that way she could change it out and then maybe like different times of the year She could put something else down here and she could swap it out with the smiley face Joanne says a jute bow would be cute. Hello, Lana. Hello. Hey, Cindy PC sister June and Donna. Hey, Vashi and Pamela. So we're fixing to cut out the smiley face on the Glowforge Let me show you what we've got set up on the computer <laughs> This really odd piece of wood is just a piece of scrap but you can see we've got a little smiley face on top of the masking and all I have to click is ready to print. We're gonna print out her smiley face and she's gonna paint it live for you guys. No pressure, Shan. You want to put this on? Oh, yeah, we can put that away. Perfect. So this is the masking that we put on top of it. We've told it, hold on, it's still preparing to print here. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. We're using the Glowforge. Oh, Carol said a peace sign would be kind of fun to change it out with, That'd definitely. Okay, we're waiting for the for the glow forge to be ready. We're waiting for the flashing light. Hey, Dot, welcome. So we just got a piece of scrap. You can tell I cut out a letter C from that piece of wood some time ago. Oh, the light is flashing. Let me turn on the filter. It's gonna get wild. Marie said, uh, like a checked van sneaker attachment, like a tennis oh, shoe. Oh, I that? like that. I or I can add my Birkenstock. <laughs> Birk she oh. wears Birkenstocks. <laughs> She's gonna be having me cut out a Birkenstock door hangers uh, like attachment. Look how fast it etched that. Now where it's cutting. Marina said, "I love this tutorial. I always get stuck here." So yeah, adding little lines and details with your Posca pins can really help, or adding some sort of like attachment. This could be a permanent attachment, or it could be something that's just attached with a piece of Velcro, like what we're doing. Uh, somebody said you could do a Volkswagen bug interchangement. I'm not huge on those. She's, she's really young, so if she, she doesn't remember the days when we all, when people, not we, I didn't have one, when people actually drove those. We do the, me and my family do the punch buggy. What's a punch buggy? Oh, like so when like you see one? When you see one driving by, we won't actually punch each other, but it's, a yellow one was the one that you would always go for. <laughs> if you're driving down the interstate, we see a yellow We one. call that slug bug. Slug bug, you don't slug back, and you like punch somebody in the arm. See, we never punched. We said, well, we, we would call it other ones, but the yellow ones were the ones that were like the golden. 
Virginia's asking what kind of machine this is. This is a Glowforge Pro. And so I'm going to turn off the air filter because it's noisy. She's going to go ahead and take it out. I'm going to turn the machine off. Look at there. Oh, there's still smoke coming out. <laughs> okay. Now we can peel the masking off the front. You want some here. I like to use a little bit of this to like get it started. So like cut some of that off. This is just like a T-Rex duct tape. I like how you're leaving this to me now. Yeah, this is, I'm just the cameraman here. You taught me the way. Somebody finally, oh, Donna bought some Posca pens today. The pickings were slim at Michael's. Well, they have a lot more to choose from on Amazon, I feel like. I also want to say this is my first door hanger, too. Yeah, we taught her how to use a jigsaw today, too. She's learned all kinds of that things today. Cool <laughs> she was a pro. Oh, look, it took off everything but the smile. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to get the masking material off. You don't have to be so aggressive. <laughs> oh, come on. You need finesse. <laughs> hey, Debbie. Uh, Marie says her son's 13 and he wants his first car to be an old school slug bug. Um, Pamela. So she's talking about the Posca pins, not pasta. Posca. Sorry, it's backwards. Let me just do this. There you go. So this is the kind of pens we're talking about. She used this pen because see, this is the seven millimeter. She used it to do some of the lettering and to do the black line on the outside. And then she used a skinnier one. This is the five millimeter to do these little white lines here. So now she's gonna paint this little uh, smile, I almost said snowman, smiley face <laughs> attachment to go um, at the bottom down here. And she could attach it with some Velcro or something. Heidi said her first car was a 72 Volkswagen Bug. How cool. Um, Rindy, this machine is the Glowforge. It is $6,000. It's a Glowforge Pro. The Pro is the only one that has a pass-through window that allows you to put in a larger piece of wood. Um, you can get $500 off this machine using my special link, so I can drop that in there for you guys if you're interested. I'm going to use one of your fun brushes. Sorry. Okay. She's using one of my pretty brushes. Which one should I, which one should I use? leopard print or um either one i mean they're the same size i know but i mean like which one should i use use so. this one i don't use it much okay. um somebody said those round signs do y'all use 18 or 12s so the one right there i think might be a 20 inch actually i don't remember but the largest door hanger size we offer in our shop is a 20 inch so you can peruse those at shopdoorhangers.com Aaliyah says she thought you were supposed to be working you didn't know you were going to be on camera today though I had no idea it was going to be on camera. <laughs> I mean, isn't this technically work? So, she's my assistant, and she's like, I'm coming over today. And I was I was like, what did we plan to do today? She's like, I don't know. We were going to mail out Happy Mail, but I don't remember what else. We ended up filming a commercial. <laughs> it's more like a TikTok video, but we're going to use it as a commercial for the Template Club. Um, I don't know when we'll release that, so don't get excited to see it like today. But we filmed that. And then we were talking about her door hanger. And the next thing you know, I'm like, you know, we're doing 30 days of Facebook Live and today's day four. So I've got to go live today. I was like, why don't we just show them what we're doing for your door hanger? Yeah, I wasn't even planning on painting this today. <laughs> Not even planning. You don't have anything better to do. I mean, you make a point. <laughs> um, let's see. Brittany says, my Glowforge should be here today. I got the filter and the free materials yesterday. Yay! I, I bet this, you were so excited. Do you think this yellow is close enough? Um, let's see. I think it's close enough. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty close. <laughs> Tracy said, slow down. No snowmen yet, Tamara. <laughs> I don't know why I got snowmen on the brain. So um, now, now we need the air dryer. The, the hair dryer? Yeah, I said, air, I said air dryer. It's underneath the counter over there. Um, thank you, Stephanie. So actually, Stephanie, last month when I was out of town, I hired somebody local to come in and clean my craft room and organize it for me. So that's why it looks as good as it does right now kind of a mess now. <laughs> okay, Shan's going to dry it real quick. I'll give you a tour of my craft room real quick. So, we got paint shelves here. All of this is organized thanks to her because she loves to organize things by color. And so, she went through and made all of this very pretty. So, this is all thanks to Shan. She's the one who 
organized all this for me because I would have just put them all up here randomly. I wouldn't have taken the time to put them by color. Well, some of them were like ran like when it it wasn't like especially the colors they weren't exactly organized that well. Yeah. And it was driving me up. A These wall. are really fun to use. And then down here we've just got also some more random stuff. This shelf's not as organized as pretty, but we we had to unload a bunch of paint at once onto a shelf. So, uh, let's see. <laughs> Danita says, "You don't work here; you play here." Exactly. <laughs> uh, let's see what else you guys are asking. Christmas in July, yes. Hey, Doris, welcome. <laughs> okay, she's put a second coat and she's drying it. What questions can I answer for you guys about door hangers or the glow forge or painting? Whatever you want to ask. I'm so cold. <laughs> so here's what the other side of my craft room looks like. That side's not as clean, but this is the side that's not usually on camera. I think that's good. And then if you pan around this way, I have a a whole closet right here. So I just That's use a awesome. Posca? Uh, to do what? To color it in? Yeah. You totally can. Yeah, you can use a Posca pen so or a paintbrush. Good. If you have a Posca pen, why, why not just use that? Okay. She's switching to the bigger one. I'll just go for the fat guy. Do you have a truck cut out with a tree in it? Um, yes, Patricia, I do. I can um, link that for you after I get off here. It's in our shop at shopdoorhangers.com. I think it's just called the Christmas truck. Deb says you're doing great. Uh, she said you. you have a great teacher there. <laughs> that is very true. Cindy, I would not be the right person to come organize your craft room. I uh, I do mm. I do good enough just trying to maintain the level of organized this room is right now. Shan is always teasing me because I don't put things back where they go. You definitely don't. <laughs> do you use the filter a lot to vent out the window? Um, so I always use the filter. That's how mine is vented. I didn't want to run something permanently out the window, but my thunder laser is supposed to be here on tomorrow. I start to say on Friday. That's tomorrow. So it's supposed to be here tomorrow, and I cannot use the Glowforge air filter to vent it. So I'm either going to have to order a different kind of filter or figure out how to vent it out the window. So when I get that figured out, I'll let you know. <laughs> um, okay, Shan's outlining her, her little smiley face. I'm trying to go by the etch marks, but I kind of covered them with the paint. Yep. I don't think they were completely thick enough, but... Now, if you wanted, like... So, like, if this was somebody else's door hanger and they wanted more on it and they, they weren't sure what to put, a few options are down here. You could, like, do, like, a little flourish sort of design. You could add some flowers, or you could just fill it with pattern. You could do, like... Um, a darker red or a lighter red polka dot on the red area. Um, and that would add a little bit of a pattern down there to make it feel a little bit more complete. Or you could add an attachment like Shan's doing. This one I might have to outline first and then color it in. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tammy. She said, I love that you're good to your employees. Mm -hmm. A happy employee is a hardworking employee. Tell them what you just said about me before we went live. What did I say about you? You were talking about how you didn't know what you were going to do when you showed oh, up to yeah, work today. I had no idea what I was going to do, and here we are. Filmed the commercial, <laughs> and now we're using my door hanger as a learning experience on <laughs> Facebook Live. She said, I love how random you are. I said, well, I'm probably one of the most random people you'll meet. Like, you never know what you're going to get when you show up here, what we're going to do. My hairstylist has always said that about me, too. She's like, I never know if you're going to decide to chop your hair off today or what you're going to do. Um, Tracy says, what do I do when I have a customer who seems to always bring her door hanger back? I always adjust to make her happy. Sometimes it's as simple as changing the length of the twine to hang it up. Oh, goodness. Um, Tracy, is that like a problem you have at paint parties or are they purchasing like a custom painted door hanger and she's always bringing it back for adjustments after it's left your hands? Because if this person were to message me and tell me that the twine is too long, I would give her instructions for how to solve that herself. Um, if she's wanting something changed as far as the paint goes, um, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, d I wouldn't be doing a whole lot of revisions. That's a lot of extra work for you. And it's like, I don't know how to put this nicely. I feel like you have to train your customers how to treat you, how to, 
what expectations that um, you're willing to put up with. So I feel like she needs to be happy with what you're creating because you're the one who's creating it. She's the one who's buying it from you. If she doesn't like it, that's more so her issue than it should be yours. Yeah, that's it's her problem, not your problem. I used to have a customer at my paint parties who would constantly bring their door hanger back to me, and they'd be like, "Can can you?" Can you fix that little that little spot right there? And I would be like practically putting on a magnifying glass trying to figure out what little spot she was talking about and I couldn't see the problem. And I was like, well, what, what do you mean exactly? She goes, well, it's just a little thicker right here than it is right there and that line is just, it's just, it's a little off. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you are a perfectionist to the 100th degree. <laughs> uh, Rita's asking, why do you store your paint bottles upside down? Because it makes it easier to squirt the paint out. That's one reason. The other reason is because some paint bottles don't have this little dot on the bottom. And the ones that do, that dot isn't always perfectly colored to the actual color of the paint. So I get more of a realistic idea of what the paint color is if I look at the bottom. So it just kind of helps me when I'm picking paint colors. Thank you, Betty. How often do you replace the filter on the Glowforge? I haven't had to replace it yet and I've had this one since January, but I don't cut every single day on mine. Only about once or twice a week. Can yes, Charlie. Fix me cereal? Yeah, when I'm off the live, I will fix you cereal. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> she just I got home from school. Picture. Yep, your new shirt. That's super cute. <laughs> um, is the Glowforge easy to use with wood? So, Sally, I cut quarter inch Revolution plywood on mine, and it cuts just fine. Um, I prefer the Posca bullet tip pins, not the brush pins, Nanette. I do have the brush pins. Those are fun to use, but I prefer the bullet tip pins. Charlie's getting a little too too close. Can you have a smiley face? I will cut you out one some other time, but right now I'm live. <laughs> She's jealous. Shan got a smiley face cut out. I will cut you one next time, okay? When I get off. Hey, I'm not saying never. I'm saying in five, like 10 minutes when I'm off here. How do you attach the ribbons and the stems? I'm new to this. What do you mean by the stems, Maxine? Um, I usually staple a, a bow on. After I make a bow, I will staple it on. I'll just staple like the underside of the bow where it's not gonna show. So that's always how I've attached them. Uh, Becky, I got a Nova 24 from Thunder. Uh, the difference between it and the Glowforge, the Nova 24 from Thunder is gonna be like three times faster and it's gonna have a, like a higher wattage laser tube. So it's gonna be more powerful. Um, how big is the Thunder? It's a little bigger than this one. I think it is about 55 inches wide, whereas this one's about 36. So I'm going to struggle to figure out where to put it here in my craft room. Um, Patricia, I will go find the link for you and put it in the comments here in a bit. Virginia said, I think the peace sign at the top caddy corner would be so cute. Yes, it would. Uh, Valencia wants to see my accent wall. So this is where I normally sit to go live right there. And I have, that's my backdrop. My husband and I built this ourselves um, using reclaimed pallet wood. And we just nail gunned this wood into the wall. Or no, sorry, not into the wall, but into a piece of half inch plywood. So there's plywood behind there. The plywood is nailed to the wall. That way there's not a million holes in the wall. There's only just a few. So, yes, Ashley Richard said, sometimes you have to fire your customers. That's true. If there's somebody you can't please, you need to write their name down because you'll eventually have so many customers that it'll be easy to forget who was a, a difficult one. And if there's somebody like that who is constantly a problem, you just have to start turning down work to them. <laughs> yeah. Can I wash this? Yes, you can go wash that. Okay. Um... Okay. Corey says field trip. We're not on a field trip. We're still in the craft room. Okay. So here we go. Look how cute that is. Do we think that fixes the issue? Yeah, I think so. That looks so super cute. Yeah, I like that. I like it. Um, let's see. Corey says, hi, Charlie. Oh, not hi, Shan. <laughs> not hi, <Wow>. Shan. <laughs> she just wow. said earlier, she said, we haven't seen Uncle Corey lately. I said, well, you just missed him today. Jennifer wants to know if I recommend the Thunder over the Glowforge. I can't say that yet because I don't have the Thunder. It's coming tomorrow. So ask me in about a month after I've had a time to like get used to using it. And then I'll definitely give you a review. Do you think I should add a little bit of the white lines, a tiny bit on the outside like I did here? 
Mm, that might be real cute. Yeah. To kind of tie it in all together. I would almost add like a little white dot in the eyes too. Almost like the twi a twinkle. Where do you add a twinkle? <laughs> so I would add it just kind of like up into the left. Just a little dot. Well, you may have to wait for it to dry or make it a little yeah, bolder. Um, do I have to open a business to give myself a name? No. You can totally make up a business name without like starting your business. Stop. Stop. Ready for what? Well, then go get Daddy to help you. Daddy's in the kitchen, and I'm on live. Uh, <laughs> What's the price of the Thunder? The Nova 24 that I got is 6900 So it's more expensive than the Glowforge, but it's more bang for your buck. It, it can also cut a larger piece all at once. How about this? The husband's home. Say hi. Hi. By the way, he, he, oh, my word. Look at that. That is... It's as big as my face. You sure that's not a pumpkin? <laughs> so he wants everybody to know that 30 days of Facebook Live was his idea. No, you're not smearing sweat on me. It ain't just sweat. It's water. Can you help me? <laughs> um, Kathy said, I think I ordered a Nova 24 about two weeks after you. That means mine will be here in a couple weeks or so. Yes, I bet it will. Um, she said that looks really good, Shan. Diana said that. I need to go back over it because the little black got on. Oh, that looks good. But yeah, you can touch that up. Or you can even get a baby wipe if it's still wet and wipe no, it off. I'll just go over it. Corey says, hi, Shan. I didn't know you were there when I came over. He, she wasn't, wasn't here. She came here. She got here right after you left. Can you cut larger items on the Thunder? Yes. I'm told you can cut up to 24 inches on the Thunder. So it cuts a larger piece. Yeah, it looks so can I see the carousel with the paint, please? Sure. So this is what she's talking about. I get asked about this all the time. So this is from Sam's Club about three years ago. And I have struggled to find one exactly like it since because so many of you guys have asked me where I got it. So it swivels. It's perfect for my paint. And it's got a chicken on it. It had my name written all over it at the store. Um, can you show your wall again? Oh, sure. Should we add the Velcro on it? There's the wall. Uh, yes, so the Velcro's in the bottom drawer down there. At, no, the teal behind you. So let me show you what Shan's doing. We've got all these little storage boxes in my craft desk. By the way, if you want to know how to build a desk like this, we have instructions on my website, southernadornmentsdecor.com. Go to the blog, and there's a blog post all about it. It was pretty much made using three of these nine-hole cubbies from Walmart and a piece of melamine uh, board on top and I love the melamine board because if I get paint on this tabletop all I have to do is like scrub it and it comes right off or get a scraper and scrape it off okay she's getting out some industrial strength velcro and she's going to attach a piece to the back of her little smiley face you can tell I'm not a, I'm not a clean <laughs> painter I always have paint all over my hands too and I just made a simple little smiley face. Having a hard time getting it peeled off. There you go. And then right here. Yep. Voila. Okay, now you got to hold it up. Show us your finished project. I love all the little accents on the smiley. It really made it. Way to go, Shan. So proud of her. My first door hanger. <laughs> I want I want you to like take a picture of it hanging on your apartment door when you get home. I need to. Well, we can spray it down first before. <laughs> yeah, we got to spray it with some sealer first. And get a little twine thingy. Um, okay. Right well, there. I think that's it for today, guys. So if you have any questions, pop them in the comments. I'll be monitoring the comments tonight so I can respond if I missed one. And as always, if you need to ask more questions or if you want to be notified next time I go live, I'm putting my phone number right down here. If you text this number, we will um, be able to notify you tomorrow when we go live. Because um, tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Central, we're doing Friday Fab Five, where I share five of my favorite things with you guys. Super fun. Come back and join me. And that will only be day five of 30 days of Facebook Live. So you'll want to catch me every single day. It's going to be lots of fun. All right. Bye. Y'all have a great weekend.